Uh, we're not going to see Sheree Thomas tonight. He's uh, serving a three-game suspension. Arms about and say, oh, gosh, what's going on? That's exactly right. It's a disciplinary team violation, and they'll deal with it as that. And Tubby, as always, uh, you're going to play by his rules, or you're going to sit. I think the other thing you're going to see is everybody thinks about the Tubby rules, and they think about defense. That defense is going to be there, but I think people are going to see a real difference in the way this team performs offensively. Well, you know, that's all they've talked about is how well they're shooting. That new ball, I Yeah, guess. exactly. No, the same ball. they got no excuses there. Defense is all about it. Effort. It's all up a double-digit lead. Lindsey Wilson came back, but then Kentucky in the latter stages of this first half just took a... last year they got a little bit more toughness and I think part of it is is because they're scared to death of Scott Hosopel and what with more of the Windstream halftime report in a moment from big on commitment by your Kentucky Anna Ford dealers force built for the road ahead by UK Hospital, by O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better sports network. Again, the final score, Kentucky 81, South Carolina Upstate 50. For Dave Baker, Martin Newton, I'm Rob Bromley. So long from Rupp Arena. TV provider, by the Whitaker Bank Corporation, uniquely Kentucky, by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Dodge, by UK Hospital, by Whitaker Bank, and by your Kentucky Anna Ford dealers. On the perimeter, yep. he's probably gonna have to move down, play a little four spot. It could be a hair-raising experience for the young guys, uh, but we'll have that for you. Our man Rob Bromley will be in the huddle, getting the insight from the Kentucky coach, and uh, we'll be back to strong defensively. And if the Cats don't play well tonight, they're not gonna come away with the win. But I think it's, I, I like that. What are the final reminders before they come out and play this open? Well, Rob, the big thing is, because he had it against Miami. Wildcat warm-up has been brought to you by Family Home Health Care by Dodge. The season opener here at Rupp Arena. The Kentucky Wildcats with a late run in the latter stages of the first half, and they lead the Miami Red Hawks by a score. By Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza. By SNS Tire and Auto. Got to get a body on somebody. Right now, Miami leads the rebounding battle 23 to 22. I would dare say that the that the offensive rebounding numbers are not that balanced. That Tubby Smith obviously gets a lot of credit for, and he should. I mean, if you're Tubby Smith, how do you not let that happen? Well, the one thing you got to do is you got to make sure that Randolph doesn't pick up his fifth. Five. Just happy for uh, Scott and to do it there, you know, in Lawrence. But I, I think upsets are something that he's so very heavily favored in here tonight. Well, they are, Rob. The big thing tonight is to come out eight, and then it's out to the islands in that Maui Invitational before the Cats will come back here and play the week after Thanksgiving. One to 18. Stay with us. We'll continue in a moment here on the Big Blue Sports Network. Just had to get somebody else in the mix, didn't we? You know, they got the, I'm looking over here, you know, they got the three-point signs that they have over there in the corner in front of the student section. I think they need to start hanging flash. Come home to family. By Windstream, UK's hometown voice brought band into Kentucky and a Ford dealers. Ford, built for the road ahead. 12 point lead at the half by a count of 27 to 15. Rob Romley is back to take you through halftime when we return to Rupp Arena. For Kevin Kidd, who helped us with all the numbers and all the guys in the truck, thanks for being with us. Let's send it over to Rob Romley to take us home. Robert? All right, Dave. Uh, Farm insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Com and looking for the rough banner to order. Cat. I don't think so. There is going to be a point in time in this season. I'm sure it'll happen. But Randolph Morris is not going to be in the game in a critical situation. So where do you get your shot when you need one at the big? By your Kentucky and a Ford dealers. Ford, built for the road ahead. By UK Hospital. Kentucky. By Windstream. UK's hometown voice, broadband and digital TV provider. And by Family Home Health Care. Come home to family.
but if they get there, they would beat teams. They would have the capability of beating teams, and it wouldn't be a surprise to me or anybody else who's had a chance to see these teams play. Well, as a resident of Colorado, I love contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. And here in Rupp Arena, it is halftime with Kentucky up on Santa Clara by just two, 30 to 28. And we... Coming up in a moment, we'll have some first half highlights and the first half statistics. Kentucky on top of Santa Clara, 30 to 28 here at the break. And there's more of the Windstream Halftime Report after this word from your local stations. Stay with us as Kentucky leads Santa Clara here at the half, 30 to 28. Christmas season, celebrating Hanukkah. There's the alumni band because the students are all home. Boy, that is that, that right back there in the front. Ray Rector was on trumpet. There he had pan over there a little bit more to the right. Hey, he's sitting down now. He's tired. And then, and then how, about, how about the guy right there down there? Yeah, pan down a little bit. The guy that did the blue hair stuff. Oh, he's just happy he's got hair at his age. Yeah, but I mean, if anybody's watching from church or something, I mean, he's going to hear about it now. For 30 years and by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tonight's starting lineup says the Cats get set to take on the Minutemen in Rupp Arena. Cats get another turnover and they've got the eruption zone going. Three possessions kind of got away from uh, what they were doing offensively. Uh, Crawford with a one-on-one -on -one move and Jasper dribbling a little bit too much and so I'm sure he kind of wants them to uh, understand that that's not how they got the lead to go back out there and execute on the offense the play that was drawn up at the timeout. Kentucky 39, Massachusetts 27. That's the halftime score here in Rupp Arena in this Friday night matchup between the Cats and the Minutemen. And we highlights and the first half stats, Kentucky 39, Massachusetts 27 here at halftime. Then it's Houston at home on January 3rd to close out our Big Blue Network schedule. And then they get into the SEC schedule and they start out by going to Ole Miss, home against Auburn, home. And put him to the line. Well, the way things have been going along for Tubby Smith, you know, I think we've seen this team over the last uh, four or five weeks, Doug. And the alumni band getting things going here at Rupp Arena in downtown Lexington as the students still out enjoying their Christmas break. Time now to get you going with today's. Most of them are scores. You know, you've got to think Greg Oden at Ohio State. But, but I think it's one of the most difficult. It's a six-point Wildcat lead over the Colonels of EKU here at halftime. We've got more of the Windstream halftime report just ahead. Kentucky 34, Eastern 28 here at the break. Tried to make the switch, thinking that Sheree Thomas would be able to match that. Morris had to bail him out with the help. You know who I'm surprised? The EKU Colonels, thanks to just some unbelievable shooting by freshman Adam Leonard. Six of six from outside the three-point. Let's just get back to it. We asked the Cats about it earlier. It's kind of amazing to me, Doug, that this team is not ranked at... Wildcat warm-up has been brought to you by Family Home Health Care, by Dodge, by UK Health Care, by Whitaker, by Papa John's Pizza, better ingredients, better pizza, by Value City Furniture. Has more transfers than my man Happy Osborne at Georgetown. <laughs> He really does. Oh, they got 12 transfers? 12 transfers or junior college players. And, and this is a model. Kentucky does on their out-of-bounds plays. Cubby Smith spent a lot of time on what Houston did. I look to see, you know, if you think if you're Kentucky right now, you got to get the ball inside the Randolph Morris. you got to figure out a way. Here at halftime interrupt, the Kentucky Wildcats leading Houston by a score of 39 to 32. We welcome you to the city of Kentucky continues to build momentum and it's pushed to become one of the nation's top 20 public research universities. In tonight's Windstream UK and the News halftime report, 
Carol Nathy says now is the time to make 22,000 plus here in Rupp Arena tonight. Tom Bickle, Tim Mays, and all those in the truck. Kevin Kidd, who's been here with us at the table, along with Dave Medley. And Martin, thanks to you. Check your local listings for the time in your area as Mickey DeMoss's UK Hoops team takes on South Carolina in SEC action. That's tomorrow night. Back at Rupp Arena, halftime, Kentucky up 36-19. As we roll through some scores, some other. Rainy night in Lexington. I will definitely say it is rainy. Yeah. Glad it's not real cold because that rain would be a lot of snow. Despite all that, there is 23,000 inside this building watching Kentucky trying to keep their. Shooters and scores and Chris Lofton suffering from a sprained right ankle. He will not go today, but that means Jawan Smith.